well this is our photoshop software and from here suppose i want to take a new file there are two ways to take a new file either you can go from there that means from the file and after that you can click here new then you will get the new document window or you can press Control N. Then you will also get the new document window. And here I'm taking the size 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels, 72 pixel per inch. Well, what is this? And before going there, you have to check out these options. What are they? First, saved. That means if you save any types of document, then you will get it here. And photo, if you click on the photo, then you will get the default size of photo or image. Here you can see that default Photoshop size 7 by 5 inch and 300 ppi. That means 300. Resolution is 300. Well, these are the size you can check this out. Just if I click here, that means if I click here, then I get 2 by 3 inches. If I click here, 8 by 10 inches and resolution 300. Well, and next that is print letter, legal, tabloid, A4, A6, A5, A3. Well, these are the page size. This size is used for printing anything. Well, I have a question for you. Can you tell me which one is bigger? A4 size or A6 size? A4 size. Yes, exactly. And A3? A3 is bigger than A6 or smaller? Okay, again I am asking you, between A4 and A3, A4 and A3, which one is bigger, A3 or A4? A3, actually if you go less, if you go A3, A2, A1, then you will get the bigger size. But if you increase the number, A4, A6, A7, that means size will decrease. You can check out if I click A3 297 millimeter, but if I click A4 210 millimeter. Well, art and illustration that means if you do any types of artwork or illustration, then you can take the default size poster, postcard. These are the size. Well, and web suppose you are working for a web that means you want to. Um, draw a website template then you can choose these options and mobile there are a few mobile sites suppose if you are working uh, with UI UX that means you know UI UX design at that time you need that suppose you are making uh, app screen for iPhone X then you need that size that means this is the size of this screen iPhone X well and film and video if you want to edit the video or if you want to do any types of work regarding video or editing video then you can take the size here but we will not take that we'll take any size that means first we'll go to the Adobe Art and Illustration if you are new in Photoshop then you have to select first select any types of site not Art and Illustration print go there and select this one select anyone and now you can change it First, I'll rename it. Workspace. And here we can see there's few more. Like pixel. Pixel means square boxes. I will tell you later. Whenever I'll consult with you about pixels that time I will tell you the details what are the pixels these are the square boxes and inches you know centimeter millimeter they are the they are like a scale that means how much size 
we want we will always select pixels here in photoshop maximum time until we need inches from here we will select 1000 pixel 1000 and height is 1000 after that resolution the maximum resolution is 300 and the lowest resolution is 72 and this is the measurement of resolution pixel per inch it shows that you will get 300 pixel in an inch a square inch i'm telling you again this resolution 300 and pixel per inch shows that you will get 300 pixel in a inch a square inch box i'll tell you details after a few seconds so whenever we'll go to the workspace in the screen in computer screen can you tell me what is the resolution of this computer screen not ratio the resolution resolution of this screen well the resolution of this screen is 72 and in the mobile phone if we, we use mobile phone smartphone the resolution of the smartphone screen is 72 72 is the web color and 300 is the print color understood That means if we do any work and we want to publish the work in the online in a website that time we need the resolution 72 but if we print that with printer then we need 300 resolution but I am taking here 72 because we will not print that and here it will be selected don't change it and color mode there are a few color modes we need to rgb and cmyk rgb is the red green and blue this is the web color that means we call it a web color and cmyk is print color understood Seven to T is web color and CMYK is print color. Well, we will select RGB as we have selected 72 resolution and background content always you can take white. I am not taking any one. That means taking any other color and these are the color profile which I have taken here. That is the thing. Either you can click here by left click of your mouse and you can press enter. Anyone will do. And I have got a white space in my Photoshop. Let me introduce you with the Photoshop. At the top, we can see File, Edit, Image, Layer, Type, Select, Filter, 3D, View, Window, Help. This is called Application Bar. Sorry, Menu Bar or Application Bar. Anyone you can tell. You can tell many bar. What it is called? Menu bar. Yes. And in the downside of this menu bar, this is called option bar. In the left side, you can see a few tools. That is called toolbar. And in the downside, you can see 50% 1000 px by 1000 px 72 ppi that is called status bar in the right side of this this is called collapsed palettes and in the middle we can see few options you can call it floating palettes 
well. And in the middle, we can see a white space that is called workspace. Its name is workspace. And we can see some something like a scale. It is called ruler. If we press controller, it comes. If we press again controller, it goes like this. Well, um, repeating at the top, we can see this is the menu bar in the option bar, toolbar, status bar, and this is palettes, collapse palettes, and this is floating palettes. And in the middle, this is called workspace. And whenever you will choose the tools you will take different tools and option bar will change like this option bar will change can you see the changes well whenever we take different types of tools we get different types of options that means this tools related with the option bar or this option bar is related with the tool suppose if i take the first one that is called move tool and it changes second tool it changes third tool it changes or it changes well so this option bar will depend on the toolbar these are the tools i will introduce you after a few seconds whenever i will take uh i'll make a tutorial about the toolbar well so this is our full photoshop hope you have understood thank you so much